Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today on Just Cook with Michael. Today, after watching this video, you're gonna know how to make the simplest crepe recipe in the world. Um, and it's going to be crepes with sauteed apples. So for the crepes, we're gonna have three quarters cup of flour, a tablespoon of sugar, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, one cup of milk, and two eggs. We just blend those together. For the apple filling, we have three apples, some butter to saute the apples in, eight ounces of apple juice, uh, about a tablespoon of cornstarch, and that's it. The first part of the recipe is putting in your wet ingredients. So we have one cup of milk, two eggs, gonna put in the sugar, one tablespoon of sugar, one eighth teaspoon of salt, and just kind of mix that up a little bit to incorporate the eggs. Now you put in your three quarter cup of flour. And that's about it. So really the only difference between crepes and pancakes, crepes just don't have the leavening agent of baking soda or baking powder in there. So they stay much thinner, but they're delicious. And it's something people don't do often, but it is just as easy as making pancakes. So. Give it a try, super easy recipe. You can make these up ahead of time. As you can see from this batter, it's a little lumpy. So a lot of times when you make batters like this, you know you don't wanna over stir, but you wanna let it rest. I wanna let it rest for probably at least five to 10 minutes before making the crepes. That way all those granules of flour, you know, those clumps, they'll slowly absorb that water and get incorpor you know, incorporate into just one smooth batter. And that's kind of what you want. Crepe mixture is done. We'll just let it rest for about 10 minutes, then make some crepes. All right, the next step in the process is preparing the apples. Best to do this when you're ready to saute it because we want to, we don't want there to be a delay between slicing up your apples and sauteing them because the, they'll start to oxidize and turn brown. If you're doing a bunch of apples, you could put them in water with a little bit of some kind of acidity like apple cider or a bit of lemon juice and that'll prevent the oxidation kills off that enzyme. That causes oxidation if you do that method. But we are ready, so we'll just get these peeled. A lot of times when I'm cooking, it's handy to have a really big bowl just to use as your garbage bowl. So you just, I mean, how easy is that? So you just have one garbage bowl and dump it out at the end. So we'll slice these up in little wedges, say 16 little wedges per apple. Okay, my apples are all wedged up. Now they're ready to be sauteed. You can see they're not turning too bad. They're not turning brown. They only took a couple minutes. But as soon as we apply the heat, that kills the enzyme that causes the browning, so we'll be all right. The next step to this recipe is making a little bit of sauce for the crepes. We have our eight ounces of apple juice. Now we're gonna mix in one tablespoon of cornstarch. You want to be stirring as you're pouring in the cornstarch. And the reason you do this is if you just dump the cornstarch directly into the hot apple mixture, it would clump up immediately. This allows the, the starch within the cornstarch to disperse throughout the liquid and make a nice smooth sauce. You can make this a few minutes ahead of time. It's always good to stir it up right before you put it in a hot mixture because if you don't, it'll the cornstarch tends to settle to the bottom of whatever liquid you're mixing it into. Okay, we have about a tablespoon of butter in the pan. In this process, you want about a medium temperature pan. Right now, I'm bringing it up just a little bit. The, the temperature is not critical. You're basically sauteing the apples until they become soft. Apples are in the pan with about a tablespoon of butter. This should just take about eight to ten minutes. It's been about five minutes. I have another five minutes to go. You could stab them with a knife and you can see there's still some resistance. They're not bad, but it looks like it is gonna take about 10 minutes total. All right, the apples have been sauteing for about 10 minutes. We'll, we'll put in our cornstarch apple juice mixture. I'm gonna put in about 75% of it. I just wanna see how it thickens up because you always could adjust and add a little more liquid or just not add that last quarter of percent of liquid. So we'll see how this works. Nice thing about cornstarch is it thickens fairly quickly. If you remember, like if you could do that, the sauce isn't going back into the middle. So it's already thickened up. 
So I'll add in the rest of the mixture because that consistency looks good. In order for the cornstarch to thicken, it does have to heat up. So you'll want to bring it to a at least a simmer for a few minutes. Again, like always, it's good to taste. So now we'll add in a tablespoon of sugar. And now I turned off the apple mixture. I'll set that to the side until we're ready to roll it into the crepes. Tab of butter in there, maybe about a half teaspoon. And then I'll put about two ounces of the batter in here. The crepes I'm making are about six inches in diameter. If you want, you could use a bigger pan and make them as big as you would like. You can see it's starting to dry out around the edge. That means it's ready to be flipped. It's nice to have a thin spatula to get under that. So there you go, nice golden color. It definitely has a nice eggy smell to it. Remember there were two eggs in the mixture. And then as I make them, I'll just set them on a clean plate like that. I'll put a piece of wax paper in between the crepes. That way they won't stick together. Again, you can see it's setting up along the edges so it's ready to be flipped. All right, we're all set to plate up the dish. That crepe recipe made about eight, six inch crepes. I have my sauteed apples here in the apple sauce mixture. I have some powdered sugar to put on top of the crepes. In between the crepes, I put a little parchment paper, that way they won't stick. And now we'll plate it up. Good to get a little bit of the applesauce mixture in there. Remember, these crepes can be made up to like three days ahead of time. The apples, same thing. And then just roll up your mixture and heat it up in a microwave and you're good to go. I have some candied pecans to put down this garnish. And our powdered sugar mixture. You can see how easy this is. It looks fantastic, tastes fantastic. You can put different fruit in the middle, spice up the apple with a little Calvados brandy, it would be delicious. Put any kind of nuts around it, any kind of candy nuts are delicious. So here it is, now you can make apple crepes. Super simple, anyone can do this. If you can make a pancake, you can make a crepe. So thanks for joining me on Just Cook with Michael. Subscribe if you like these recipes and want to see more. Now go out and make this recipe for someone you love.